How much was that? That was a lot, I think. 28 and a half ish plus the bets. Uh, they still won't give me any good armor. This isn't bad, actually, but I don't want that much stamina regen for only 55. Okay, lion head. Okay, well, actually, this is all I need. Yeah, so the lamellar armor would be really good. And then I guess I'll go. I could go with either one of these, really. I'll go with the cage just because it matches a little bit more. So now I'm pretty insulated from damage. 85, 82, 65 here. And my stamina region suffering a little bit for it, but it's okay. So yeah, it was another Jordy fight, so I still need to get my favor up. I, I have a little bit of money. Yeah, what do we get here with 7,500? So yeah, 95% chance. There we go. You can only do that like once per week with each um, patron. So, you know, obviously I don't even have enough money here to do it again, but you want to get those in as often as you can. Uh, I'll go with this one. This should be easy. Got 3v1v1. I don't even really need to be in the action here. These guys will like kill themselves well enough. don't need too much else from the shop here. All right, we're actually getting kind of close here, so let me go Maza now. So... Okay, all three fights are Jordy. That's really weird. I'm gonna go with this one and hope that it isn't. It is! This guy's got a monopoly on the fights. Okay, it's only three guys, which is nice. Uh, okay, so Maza and Alora still the ones I want to focus on. Maza, 7,500. So, okay, here's Maza fight. Another one. And another one. Um, so I don't mind luck of the draw 1v1. Especially if I can win within one minute. Luck of the draw is appealing when you've got the kind of armor I do now, right? Because it really puts me at an advantage. I just gotta be careful about my left arm. See if I can use this sword to get his helmet off and then just poke him over the top with throwing spear. There we go. I might have used them all up now. There we go. Nice and easy. Alright, so Maz is at 90 now. George's still at 90. Getting close. It's really not a very difficult win condition when you're buying favor, you know? Seventy-five. So uh, I don't have a fight for her. I'm not sure what I want to do here. I guess I'll go Mazik. I don't really want to do a one v eight with spoils because it's like paying half of what it would. So I'll just. This is basically the same thing as last time. Um, and the thing is, I'm gonna have to do a fight here for Maza because otherwise, if I did a fight for Alora, Maza would drop anyway. So this is fine. I'll do this fight for Maza. Then she'll be like at a hundred. Jordy will only drop a few points, and I'll buy Alora again. And then I'll probably still have to do one fight for Alora. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing as last time, because that worked pretty well. Fuck. These short weapons, dude. That was pretty rough, but whatever. Ah, the game crashed. 
Okay, no harm done. Take the pole arm. Where am I at? Only 54 on the pole arm. 79 on stamina. That's not bad. Uh, so yeah, what are we looking at here? 196, 73. So if I buy Alora. Thirteen. So yeah, okay. One one fight should do it because Jordy won't drop below ninety. I don't think. Do I have an Alora fight? I haven't for a few weeks here. Yeah, there we go. Four v one. That'll be pretty simple. Uh, I don't really need to worry about bets. Easily done. And that's that. Got her all the way up to 100. They're still good. And Valerius hates me. Alright. Alright, run for office. Let's see what we got here. Gain a thousand gold after every rank up. That's not huge, but that would be a nice little boost. All right, well, that was a good run. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you learned something. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Um, yeah, I can do that. I can probably I can do this too. Easily enough. And if you don't know, like with damage bets against teammates and stuff and also if you want to kill a teammate and take their gear it doesn't count like if you hit them after the last enemy dies it won't count so you have to do it before you actually finish the fight all right you see like if i hit this guy now it just you know it doesn't actually count the damage or anything you know when when no fight really jumps out to you it's a good idea to look at the bets and see if you can make something more of what you got so i'm gonna go with three kills and like i could maybe do that here but i could definitely do it here so i'm just gonna go with this bets are actually really important for the politician because like you know bets aren't structured in a way to consider entourage so having entourage from the beginning really gives you an advantage with bets things like dealing damage to teammates um, surviving teammates. Oh, is this a pole arm, not a two-handed axe? All right. The more you know. You know, like, the cleaver counts as a one-handed axe, which you might not necessarily expect. I don't know. Okay, one be many. That's good. That's what I like to see because I've got a good weapon, so I can do plenty of damage. I could maybe get five kills. Let's see. I've got plenty of money to spare. Oh, it's the spike variant. That's not what I like to see. So there's going to be no space with eight guys running around. So I really need to not get hit by the spikes as well because they do 24 damage. So that hits me one time. That's half my health gone. I'd much rather stay near these guys and get hit by them a few times, you know, because... Looking at their weapons, the only guy that's going to be doing 24 damage to me with one hit is maybe this guy with the falchion. Not anymore. Okay, 19 from the cleaver is not too bad. Okay, let me get these guys with the spikes. Got this guy, that was good. Alright, I want to get this guy off of me because I'm just not... There's nowhere to go is the problem. I can get some hits on his back, that would be good, but they keep circling. Let me get this guy so that we have three on one. Or not. I got a fucking double kill, he's the main character. 